Welcome to Counters. At this point, we are looking at the return on assets before interest and tax. Now, what is return on assets before interest and tax? You may be familiar with return on assets. And um, that is basically uh, a, 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 a simple formula that um, takes uh, net profit. That's return on assets, net profit. And it's divided by the total assets. Total assets. And you take the two figures, the net profit, divide by the total assets, and you get your return on assets. But now what we're looking at here is return on assets before interest and tax. So instead of net profit, we use EBIT or earnings before interest and tax. So we're taking this figure. We're taking this figure. Divide by, uh, divide by the total assets. The only thing that changes is the earnings before interest and uh, is the is the is the numerator, um, which is profit from operations as opposed to net profit uh, for the period. So, um, so how do you do the calculation? You take the EBIT or profit from operations one five one, one five one nine nine eight, and it's divided by the total assets, which is three two four three seven. Three two four three seven zero, and the answer will be um, divided by this. Divided by that will give us that zero point four six uh, or forty six percent, and that is the return that is coming out from the investment in assets. Now, the return on assets before interest and tax takes a bit as opposed to net profit because you don't want the answer or the interpretation to be masked by uh, the finance costs that you have and the income tax expenses that you have. You want to see from your operations what is the return that we have on the assets that we've invested into the business. Now uh, later on we'll be looking at the return on assets and explaining further how does it apply and what can we do. So for return on assets before interest and tax, if we want to change this figure here and want to improve it, what we can do is that we can either improve the numerator, which is the earnings before interest and tax, or improve on the total assets. Now improving on the earnings before interest and tax, uh, uh, you may look at one of the factors here on top. Uh, before you get to op uh, profit from operation, you may uh, work on decreasing your costs or increasing your selling price or increasing your selling uh, uh, your, your, your sales volume or decreasing the total assets in invested uh, through various policies that you may put into the business. So that is how you calculate return on assets before interest and tax. And this means that this is the percentage that you're getting in return uh, of, the, of, the, of the investment that you have on your assets. Till next time. Cheers.